guys and welcome to the family fudge. Today I have a get ready with me video featuring the hair. I'm going to be doing a separate video on the makeup very soon. So stay tuned and I will show you how I curl this hair. Okay guys, so I've had the same hairstyle and makeup style for quite a long time and it is about to change. In a few days I'm going to be taking part in a head to toe mommy makeover and I'll give you more information about that probably in a separate video because it's kind of a lot of information but basically the hair is going to change and the makeup's going to change. So I thought before it did I would show you how I'm currently doing it because I've had a lot of people ask me for a tutorial on the hair and makeup but I've been a little self-conscious to make these videos but part of being on YouTube is to get over the insecurities and just do it, right? Just as a disclaimer, I am not a licensed cosmetologist although my mom is, and so I have a little bit of knowledge about hair and makeup, but not a ton. So I'll just show you how I do it. Usually I will wash my hair at night, and it will mostly dry. It'll be mostly dry by the morning. So here's the natural texture of my hair. It is not curly, it is not straight, it's somewhere in between. So, of course I like to change it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show you what tools and products that I use. They are very simple. First off, I use my blow dryer, which is a regular blow dryer from Costco. And then I have a one inch curling wand, like this. My mom gave this to me. It is a Jose Ebert, and it just has an on and off switch, no temperature control, nothing fancy. And then if I'm feeling good, I might use my heat protectant spray, although I don't always do that. And I just use a cheap hairspray. I like this Tresemme number five. And some bobby pins, a regular brush. And I, use, I like to use a wide tooth comb as well and maybe a clip for sectioning. So like I said, I wash this at night and when I woke up, it's not quite dry all the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by using my blow dryer to dry it completely. those tangles out of there. Okay, so it's completely dry, but it's really clean hair. And for my hair, it doesn't curl very well, and it doesn't hold a curl if it's super, super clean. So now that my hair is dry, I'm gonna make it a little bit dirty by spraying some hairspray all over my hair. like that. So before the next step, I'm going to let that hair make sure that hairspray is all the way dry. Now, my style of hair that I prefer is big hair. I like big hair. My natural hair is pretty thin. There's not a lot to it. Now, when I'm pregnant, I usually grow nice thick hair. But as soon as that baby comes out, the hair falls out too. So I lose a lot of hair after after each pregnancy. So right now it's on the thin side because no, I'm not pregnant. So my hair is dry. It has a little bit of hairspray in it. It's time to start curling. So I'm just gonna turn my curling iron on. This sucker gets really, really hot. So, and I don't use a glove at all because I'm dangerous like that. So I'm gonna let this heat up for just a minute or two. I'd like to start at the crown of my head. I just pull up a small section of hair and comb it out, make sure that there's no tangles in there. And then we'll take my curling wand and I will start wrapping pretty tightly close to the root and I just wrap it around. Be careful not to touch the wand and I leave the ends out. I'll take my fingertips and very carefully touch my hair and when it gets too hot for my fingers I know it's too hot for my hair. I don't want to burn my hair off so I monitor the temperature very closely. I'll slide that off and gather the curl, keep it together and then I'll use a bobby pin to secure it into place. And when I do that it helps the curl cool down and set it into place so the curl will last longer. Now I'm gonna grab the next section right behind the first section 
and repeat that entire process. Get out any tangles in there and I just start wrapping it around. Now I have burned my fingers before but I've never burnt my hair so this two finger method works out really well for me. Slide it off, keep that curl together and I'm going to pin it into place. Now if I want my curls to last for a really long time, I will pin up all of the curls on my entire head as uh, they're, cur they're cooling down. Um, but for every day I just pin up the crown because those curls tend to fall the fastest. They don't want to stay curled. So when I do it this way, it helps the curls stay a little bit longer. Then I'm going to take the rest of my hair and section it off into two sections like that. And then I'm going to take that and divide it into two more sections. And I'm going to go ahead and pin up this side top section so it's out of the way. Take what's left and divide it again by two. And then I'm just going to curl each section in the same way. I'm curling away from my face. I'm holding it as it's cooling down before I drop it. When you let your curl cool down a little bit before you let go of it, it'll help the curl stay longer. There you go. Now I'm actually going to use some hairspray at this point to help that curl set. Just like that. And on to the next section. So now I'm just going to repeat this process all over my head. On to the other side. All right, there's the last curl. And then I'm gonna spray it all over. I use a lot of hairspray. <laughs> okay, so I've got all of my curls in. So this was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven curls. But I haven't had any kids interrupting me yet, so it goes a lot faster. <laughs> And usually while I'm doing this, I'll have my phone right next to me and I'll be watching some YouTube. Let's see what I was, what was I watching? I was watching Being Mommy with Style. She just went to Disney World and I've been following her adventures. Love your channel. Anyway, so I've got all my curls in and as you can see, I actually did the curls and then I put hairspray all over them so that they can set. And that's what helps keep the curl in a lot longer for me. Now at this point, if I needed to go somewhere, I would go, I would comb it out right now. But if I don't have anywhere to go, I might just wear it like this for 10 minutes or so, walk around the house, help my kids, get my clothes on, do my makeup. But I leave it like this as long as I can, because once I brush it, the curls will start falling down. And that's not necessarily bad, because in the beginning of the day, the curls are really tight, almost too tight. And then throughout the day, it will relax and get a little bit more natural looking, and that is totally fine. So I'm going to leave this just like this for a few minutes, because that's how I normally do it. And then I will comb it out. All right, let's finish it up. So I'll start here in the back with my last curl, take out the pin. Now I didn't leave the pin in this one for very long because I wanted to make sure to not make like a big crease right there in my bangs, but the back ones won't show too much. So here's the, the back curl. So I'm going to take my wide tooth comb and just comb through it gently and maybe do one or two gentle back combs. So like I said, I like the big hair. 
and my hair is naturally pretty thin, but doing it this way really gives the illusion of having a lot more hair. So I gently comb through it, and then maybe one or two little back combs. And then the top one, same thing, comb it through, one or two gentle back combs. Okay, so now I just comb through it very gently with this wide tooth comb. I like to leave it kind of curly, like that. Like to comb them this way, like that. Here's the back. You can see the back doesn't hold the curl as much as the front does for whatever reason. So now I just kind of comb it until I get it to the shape I want it. Then I spray the heck out of it. <laughs> I probably use too much hairspray. It's true. All right, there it is. Now this is pretty much what it'll look like on fresh, clean hair. If I was to curl it on second day hair, it would definitely curl better. Um, and when I do it like this, I actually don't need to wash it for a couple of days. So I'm not actually curling and heat damaging my hair every single day. That's basically it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two of the series of the makeup. It's kind of a shocker. Uh, you might be really, really surprised how I do my makeup. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.